The new award-winning toroidal propellers from MIT are sweeping through YouTube faster than any of us could have imagined. Not just into the FPV world. It seems like everyone and their mom wants to talk about these new super quiet, super efficient, super thrust, super human powered. It's powered by Elon Musk himself. And I think that it's also going to enable your drone to use hydrogen cells. But I digress. Let's get straight into the proof that I have. The MIT thinks you're stupid. It's working on another program developing ionic propulsion for for fixed wing aircraft um, so basically able to fly without any moving parts and more importantly to fly very very quietly some way to compare that technology to a propeller but propellers as we all know are pretty loud Now, I think that is one of the most important things in this video that I caught on to that said well this is a scam okay now let's just play that again propellers as we all know are pretty loud They've boosted the audio. Now that's not necessarily a, a bad thing. It's not doesn't mean that they're lying or anything. They, they, they boosted the audio though, so that you can clearly hear this FPV drone. Now, if you look right up over here, uh, right above me, oh, oh, there we go, right above me, what is that? Well, that, that right there is a microphone because obviously they're gonna be recording their data, correct? I mean, if it's all about making a quieter drone. We'll get back to that later. There are different ways to make them quieter and we can look again to, wings to see how that works okay this is just a nitpick and maybe i'm getting off on a tangent but there are ways to make propellers quieter and we could look at spinning propellers in a circular motion and then apply that to a fixed wing that that's not how it works okay there are definitely shared features between a propeller and a fixed wing but there are probably more differences relatively to flight than there are similarities. Okay, yes, they both fly. Back when people were coming up with all kinds of crazy ideas for airplanes in the early 1900s uh, and during World War II, there were a couple of designs that were basically these ring wings. I mean, that's cool, okay? You know, taking a, an old design and getting inspiration from it and seeing if it will be applied in different ways. There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. That's how new things are invented all the time. So I wondered what would it look like if you took a ring wing and turn something like that. Here's another thing. If, if you're not going to give any sort of reference to the toroidal propellers that are already designed and used on boats, and you're instead going to claim that you came up with this idea by looking at a hundred-year-old picture of a ring-wing aircraft, yeah, come on, man. What, you didn't know that there were propellers out there that were already designed pretty much the way that you're trying to design them? Why don't you make a reference to that? Is it that you want to seem like you're smarter than you are and you came up with some revolutionary new idea? Okay, now here, here, here's the kicker. If, if you manage to stay this long and you disagree with me, I'd be surprised. But here's the, the, the reward at the end of the rainbow. Here are the propellers finally being showed, by the way, in the same testing place it was before where we heard the boosted audio from the FPV drone. We came up with uh, this, this initial concept of using uh, this... Wow, that was really quiet. Oh my God, those things were working so good. It's so quiet that they muted it. Wow, that's amazing. I'm really impressed. Why did you mute it? Hey, hey MIT guy. Why did you mute that part of the audio right there? Well, we know that it was, no, but oh, it's just so quiet you couldn't even hear it. That's not true because when they boosted the audio from the FPV drone, we could hear the ambient white noise sound of the room around them. So why didn't we hear that then? I'll tell you why, because it's muted. It's so revolutionary that we're not going to let you hear it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, oh, okay. Run with the idea where he took okay. the concept. Here's another problem I have. MIT, you're going to be using an FDM printer. Really? Not an SLA? Oh, okay, okay. In our technology office innovation laboratory to try. Okay, I need to uh, move myself up here so that you can uh, really see just how stupid they think you are. <laughs> Is this a PowerPoint to gain investors? This is coming from MIT as some sort of research paper. And what it really feels like is a Kickstarter. I mean, electrical power, a weighted noise. And look, here is an icon of the scale to show you that there is something that you gotta, you know, you gotta have this or that, right? You know, this kind of reminds me of when I was in high school and I forgot that I had a project due and I had to make this PPT and, well, you know, you just gotta make it as fast as you can. And, uh, well, here you go. Electrical power, 
RPM. What kind of electrical power at MIT? What what kind? Could you maybe just give me a little bit more information on what kind of... Are you talking about amps? Are you talking about current, voltage? What kind of electrical power are you talking about? And then from there, figuring out what are the things that are making... Uh, that's making this propeller quieter. Uh, the key thing... Now this... This test, they didn't mute the propeller. However, they didn't give us any data, okay? What's the amp draw? What's the RPM? What's the dB of noise? What, you know, anything at all? You didn't think to put any information on the screen for us to understand what's really going on here. You know what? I have the perfect solution for you guys, a revolutionary new design that I have. It is an entirely quiet propeller. Let's check this out, guys. An entirely quiet propeller. You ready? Look at that. You can't even hear that propeller spinning. Now, granted, it's spinning at, uh, you know, 0.1 RPMs, but you get my point, don't you? It really does matter that those two motors are spinning at the exact same RPM. And, of course, also, what's the amps, right? What, what's the current draw? These are things that are very important to know. This is MIT we're talking about here, and they didn't think to put the most basic data on the screen. Instead, they just rely on you being stupid and saying, well, that one sounded a little bit quieter. That's revolutionary. The, the, the vortices that are being generated by the propeller are... Okay, and at this point in time, now you should know. Now you should know. The best way to fool someone is with a 3D animation. This is not, by the way, a simulation, okay? This is not something like one of those high-end, advanced 3D simulations where you put in all the data, like a fluid dynamic simulation. This is not that. This is just a key-framed animation that they made. We're not going to provide you any data at all, but well, just trust us. We're smarter than you. And uh, makes it you know, effectively uh, dissipate. Also muted. Gain the R&D 100 award. Oh, there it is. Look at him. He's a he's happy as a mouse who just got a giant wheel of cheese, isn't he? Gaining the R&D 100 award. Wow, I can't believe this freaking guys are so stupid. But hey, you know, hey, ah, uh, right, you know, give us some money. Ah, here's a great real world use case. All right, let's hear this, you know, because we're outside now. It's on an actual drone. I would love to hear this part. For our work with the toroidal propeller, you know, First off, by the way, that Phantom is wobbling around. Quieter drones has utility not just in uh, military applications, it has utility in civilian applications as well. Now that we have things... Okay. No, not going to let me hear that. All right, moving on. Flying closer to people, um, and there are all these potential uses. <laughs> now, this just may be the fact that he didn't know what to say, so I have to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. However, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> and you're going to give a speech about your new invention. You're going to say, there's all sorts of potential use cases. Y yeah, give us some examples, maybe? <laughs> just a couple? There's plenty of people out there who have 3D printed the toroidal propeller with horrible results. Terrible results. Not only being incredibly louder, but also insanely inefficient efficient, less thrust, less handling, less agility, less of everything that you would want a drone to be, except for maybe a slightly lower pitch, still louder, but slightly lower pitch. A lot of people are defending that by saying, well, these people are using an FDM printer to print this, and so that's not really what's best. It needs to be injection molded. Now, see, MIT also was using an FDM printer. And yet they claim to have gotten all this fantastic data that won them this award, all this data that proves that this toroidal propeller is more efficient and quieter and it's really amazing and you can't even hear it if, even if you're in the bathroom and it's in the bathroom with you. It could be watching you. You don't know. Okay, but like, well, where's your data? Because we see everyone printing with FDM printers and they're getting horrible data, but you apparently got some super awesome secret data. Hmm? Is it because you're smarter than us? Is that why? And they certainly didn't give us the data. Or did they? Because someone came forward and said, Hey, Dr. Quads, you didn't look at the papers, did you? And I'm like, oh, there's papers. Oh, man. And I felt kind of dumb because I'm like, oh, man. Well, I didn't look at the papers, and I should have. And so he was like, how can you make an opinion before you look at the papers? I'm like, well, you know, I mean, obviously I'm using Occam's razor here to look at their stupid video and say it's probably a scam. But you're right, though. I really, really should look at the papers because I don't want to be ignorant on the subject, especially if they're going to be giving that really important data in those papers that they maybe didn't give in the video because it was more of a promotional thing for the award. Let's go ahead and take a look at those papers right now. All right, here we go. Boom, we got some data, right? Right? Is it? Where's the RPMs? 
where's the actual data from the motor? There's no information here on RPMs, on, on, on thrust, amps, nothing, nothing, none of that, huh? And now so were, you could get away with saying that video was some promotional piece, but this is the paper that won, and there's no data in it at all. There's no indication, there's no proof at all about what they're saying is actually true. So I'm guessing the R&D award guys went there and saw the data for themselves. You didn't think to take five minutes to make a, a simple chart? You just, hey, you know what, how many pages is this? Oh, it's only two pages. Maybe just add another page, maybe? Just just the pictures of your data. Just, just take some snapshots of the data that you took. Anything at all. Anything at all. There's nothing here. And this is what really pisses me off. The fact that people are buying this, man. Come on, there's plenty of young, talented geniuses out there who need our attention and our support because they're going to be inventing the next thing that's actually going to affect the world in a good way and not just some Kickstarter bullcrap snake oil inventing a square wheel. That's what this is right here. Small multi-rotor remote-controlled aircraft for drones have been proposed for various... Uh, now, wait, hold up now. See, the first thing I understand is like the first paragraph, you're kind of you know, giving it a broad overview of, of what it's all about. But then you mean also that what should be the meat and potatoes of this research paper is just more general statements about drones? Do you think that everyone is stupid? Well, that's the point. That's exactly what they think. They want your money. They want monies from investors. Uh, and they think that they're stupid, so they're just going to give them a paper that's entirely full of drones do things in our society, and some people think that drones are very noisy, so we're going to make them not so noisy anymore. And, well, here's, look, this graph. Here's a graph that shows you just how noisy those drones are. And look at our graph. Clearly, visually, you can see that our propellers are much better than those other propellers. Wouldn't you agree? Now, please give us a grant of $500 million. Thank you very much, and you're welcome. What's going to happen to all these young creatives is they're going to learn really quickly that don't bother actually doing proper research, proper R&D. Don't bother spending four times the amount of hours and 20 times the amount of work actually doing it correctly when you could just lie to the stupid people and show them a couple graphs and money's yours, baby. And that's what we're going to be teaching young geniuses in the future. And I just don't support it, and I don't think anyone else should. And what's this right down here? Oh, hey, huh. U.S. patent. So... Uh, I'm going to leave this one up to you so I can end this video. But why don't you guys go look up this patent as I have done and find out when did they apply for the toroidal propeller patent. Go look it up, guys, and you'll find out what's really going on here. This is a disgrace, and MIT... You're better than this. Well, I thought you were. I guess you're not. Anyways, moving on. Dr. Quads, Patreon, like and subscribe. Do all that stuff that every YouTuber needs to tell you to do. Because if you don't do it, I'm going to disappear like Tinkerbell. Oh.